Catching Implings at Puro Puro has been one of my favorite scaling activities in the game since I first became a member. I've never really checked out how much GP can be made per hour though. So today, I'm going to be testing three different methods to find out what's the absolute most money that can be made in an hour catching Implings here. However, to really make as much as possible, I need to have a world to myself at Puro Puro. That might be hard to do though without access to 2k total worlds. So I might as well get that last level for 2k that I've been putting off. My closest skill is crafting at 97k experience left, so I went ahead and bought supplies for air battle staves. It's actually funny because I've never made elemental battle staves before. I've always gone the cheap or profitable routes for all of my skilling because I'm pretty cheap myself. Alright, here we go with the crafting level. I spent 7.82 mil on all the supplies, so we'll see how much we get back in the end. There it is! 2,000 total! Heck yeah, man! Yes, my first time ever hitting 2,000 total in the, like, uh, let's see here, 14 years I've been playing RuneScape. 14 freaking years, and this is the highest I've ever been. Ugh, that looks beautiful, man. Wow. Okay, well, anyway, uh, that took less than 20 minutes. Yeah, just, just under 20 minutes, so, uh... Let's sell those back and see how much we get back. 6.3 mil, so we spent just under a mil, about 900k, or technically, uh, let's see, it was 7.82 mil, I think. Yeah, 7.82. Um, so what, actually, wow, one and a half mil then. But, I mean, it was worth it. I saved probably like 45 minutes or so uh, versus doing like air orbs, so or just regular orbs, that is. But, oh man, that looks amazing. Wow. Wow, I just want to stare at it. Anyway, now we have unlocked 2,000 total worlds. And here's the U.S. world. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that, two Hydra pets on logging in. There's like nobody here. Heck yeah, I can't wait. All right, let's get into the, uh, the gist of things, huh? All right, so we're starting with 2,000 dust runes, 1,000 nature runes, and 14,000 law runes. I'm going to try to remember to incorporate those into the final profit. Um, also, 1,000 impling jars, of course. Five hunter potions, just in case I find a lucky impling, because uh, my hunter level is not high enough for them. And also 20 stamina potions. All right, let's go ahead and head in. The first method I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be actually farming um, high-level implings just to try to get... Um, oh wait, I need a hunter potion. But yeah, I'm going to be farming high-level implings uh, to try to get dragon implings and maybe some lucky implings to spawn. Hopefully, first I have to of course make sure that there's nobody else on my world. Um, but yeah, that'll be the first method and that's kind of my highest... Like, I feel like I'm gonna make the most money with this method, provided that the world is mine and mine alone for the entire time. Uh, we should make quite a bit, hopefully. All right, nobody's here. Time to get going. Time to begin the one hour of catching nature implings and above in hopes of getting dragon implings. Let's go. I'm actually really excited. I haven't done this at Puro Puro in a long time. I haven't caught them here. And I, I really miss it. It was a lot of fun back in the day despite being kind of newbie like GP per hour compared to what I get now. But it's just it's just fun. Especially now that I'm not too cheap to use uh, Entangle and Binds and whatnot. I used to just run around the wheat endlessly trying to catch them. And they would just like float away every time. Oh, I caught them without my net equipped. I forgot to equip it. But yeah, already we're only less than a minute in and we already have a Magpie Impling. That's amazing. Another Magpie Impling right after I caught the previous one. That's insane. Alright, two Magpies and a Nature Impling already. Just under two minutes in and there's a Nature right there. This is actually pretty awesome. I've never been on a 2k uh, total world before today. And so I've never really had the joy or the experience rather of, of having my own world for like guaranteed. Because I, like I said, there's going to be nobody coming here pretty much. Another magpie spotted. Heck yeah. Get over here. And get in my net, please. Oh, I got to go around or got to go through. The thing is with binding these, you never know when they're going to turn around. Sometimes you just got to do it and push through the wheat. So not bad. We already have uh, four magpie implings. Less than 10 minutes in. 
and I still have yet to see somebody, which is freaking awesome. I do not regret spending that 1.5 mil on the uh, quick crafting level. I mean, got to oh another magpie, sweet. Got to admit, deep down it did kind of hurt a little bit, but definitely worth it. Just spotted my first ninja impling. Get back here, please. All right, sweet. First nature impling caught, or first uh, ninja rather. There's a nature right over here. All right, just completed my first inventory. Actually, I'm gonna just home teleport. I do wanna get a quick price check though of our first inventory. Let's see. 234K, not bad for 17 minutes. It's already more than I made in an hour with the uh, thing I was doing yesterday. The reason why I'm catching only nature and above is because dragon implings, lucky implings, pretty much everything nature and above spawn in that same slot. So, like, it could be a nature impling or it could be a dragon impling. It's just chances are quite low for um, dragon implings to spawn. All right, this will finish up the inventory. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I just got to freaking teleport. See, silly me, I, I'm still, like, thinking of the old days where I was too cheap to even use a teleport to uh, bank quicker for pretty much everything. Like, I would run to the closest bank just to save that law room. But anyway, let's get a quick price check on that. 189k, not quite as good as last inventory, but still not too bad either. Cool. And that's, oh, uh, there's another nature, but I mean, there's no point catching it, pretty much, unless it comes to me. Okay, cool. <laughs> wow, what timing. Just at the hour, I caught one more, but anyway, that is the hour finished up. Unfortunately, I did not find any dragon or lucky implings. Um, but let's go get a final price check of all the implings we caught. We ended up with five ninja implings, 16 magpie implings, not bad. I caught the gourmet, I did have a baby impling, but I caught the gourmet to, um, prevent the nature implings from getting, like, released by those stupid imps. Well, let's, oh, there they go. Okay, so 565k in one hour minus, let's see here, we used, uh, 65 impling jars, which is, uh, yeah, 44,200. Not bad. Um, and then you subtract, let's see, I used, uh, four, pretty much four stamina potions, so minus another 24k. Um, so you get, like, 70k subtracted, and the nature runes, can't forget about those. So, 70k and 70k, that's 140k off the profit. Uh, so 425k GP an hour without any really good luck. No dragon implings, no lucky. If we found a dragon impling, it would have been probably close to a mil an hour. Like 800, 900k an hour. But anyway, I will be back when I have resupplied. Alright, I've restocked everything and it's time to do the eclectic impling only method. This method is quite a bit easier. Um, it just involves going to the spawns for the eclectic impling and just camping it, pretty much. There it is, cool, that was actually really easy. Just gotta like mark the tile there, see where he spawns at. It's not really necessary to bind them every time, but it does really help, because sometimes they kind of like run away really quickly, and it sucks. Now the reason these eclectic implings are actually such good money is because they have medium clues, they, they have a uh, a uh, medium clue loot rate at like, I think it's like 1 in 20 or something. So people will buy them up in mass and do a bunch of medium clues to try to get like, uh, mainly ranger boots. They camp just uh, ranger boots and whatnot. Cool, that's an inventory filled up already. That's four minutes just about, which is not bad. Let's, let's get a quick price check on that. Every um, inventory is going to be about 79k. That's pretty dang good actually for four minutes. All right, awesome. I got pretty lucky there. I didn't have any eclectic implings running away when they spawned, and so that only took like three and a half minutes for that inventory. Pretty good, actually. Inventory four complete. That's number seven. Thirteen. That just about wraps up an hour. There we go. That'll be the last one. Um, but also another thing is if you have elite Lumbridge Diaries done, you're going to earn a little bit more because you get an extra, you can save an inventory space for the uh, Draymond staff. 
and you get an extra impling per trip. But I mean, I feel like anybody that has the Lumbridge Elite Diaries done is not going to bother doing this like, what, maybe 1.5 mil an hour money method? Uh, but anyway, that is the hour complete. We managed to get 361 implings within the hour, um, which is actually pretty good. Let's see how much that comes out to. Um, I'm probably going to get a little more than that. So yeah, 1.143 mil. That is uh, a little bit less than I thought, but I just started getting some bad RNG. Basically, the amount that you can catch in an hour depends on how often they're going to spawn away from you and kind of run away and make you have to entangle or snare them. Uh, but actually, that is not that bad. We used how many? Let's see. Um, so that's, ouch, that's 245k less. And then how many uh, I used, let's see, 196 um, nature runes. So that's about, you, you subtract about 300k from this. So you get about 843k, if I'm doing my math right, 843k GP per hour, catching eclectic implings only. That's actually not as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like 1.25 to 1.5 mil an hour. But let's get on to the next method. I'm going to restock real quick and uh, I'll get that going. So basically my plan is to just, instead of sitting in one world and farming like uh, nature implings and above trying to get a dragon impling, I'm going to actually just hop between a bunch of different skill worlds, high, like skill total worlds. Um, so that way we don't have to compete with bots. And I'm just going to run through, I'm just going to do a lap around in every world until my inventory is full. And I'm going to catch everything nature impling and above like before so that if we, uh, like when we do come back to the world, there's a chance that there will be a, um, like a dragon impling or something. So let's get going, let's start that timer and uh, hopefully we can finally get a dragon or lucky impling. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, our way around again. Time to finish the loop. Oh, there we go, boys. There's a dragon impling already. Wow, this is the same world I was on um, doing the last strategy with the uh, eclectic implings. But heck yeah, finally, yes, after so long, got a freaking dragon impling. Hell yeah, man. So nice to see. How much even is that? That is 336k. Wow. We are already off to a really good start. Oh, come on. Changing directions on me. Oh, don't tell me this dude's gonna steal my freaking impling. No, seriously? Seriously, dude? Wow, okay, I I'm pretty sure that was a freaking bot that like somehow scans the world or something. I don't know, but that's freaking aggravating. Wow, dude. Oh, dang. Just spotted a dragon impling and this dude's gonna get it. You gotta be kidding me. I'm the one who's been farming this world and I'm missing the dragon impling. Wow. First trip, 484k. Nice. You know, I'm really not finding anything on the... Even the 2,000 total level worlds. Like, there's people there catching implings. It blows my mind why anybody would do this for anything other than content. But, uh, yeah, they're there, so I'm going to risk it for the biscuit on PvP world and, uh, see if there's anything here. It's probably not a good idea at all, but... Ooh, dragon impling, heck yeah. That's all mine. Nobody's gonna come here for this. Well, I'm kinda glad I checked now. Three minutes left and I find a dragon impling. Second one. Come on. Yes. Might as well check the rest of the world. Time for the next one. There's actually a guy here? What? <laughs> On a PvP world? I gotta do it, I can't resist. Oh, I can't attack him. Dang. Well, that sums up the hour. Alright, final price check for the final method of killing... Or, rather, catching, uh... Excuse me, catching implings. I don't think we actually passed up uh, the eclectic method, but we'll find out. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to uh, price check it and then loot them. But we actually did pass up the eclectic only method with 1.35 mil, 80k. So subtract like 170k from what you get. And you still have like one, almost 1 mil or 1.1 mil. 
That's actually, I can't believe it, but it's better than the just standard eclectic method. And I, I probably, I mean, if I had better RNG, like if that guy didn't log in and take my dragon and blink, I would have gotten 1.5 mil. So this is actually like 1.1 mil an hour doing it this way, just farming a couple worlds, just hopping between them, and just catching nature, magpie ninja, and dragon implings, and it's, you know, that's actually not bad. 1.1 mil an hour? It's better than the like 800 something K an hour that we were getting with Eclectics. But all in all, I definitely would not recommend, even if you're 2k total, it's still not worth it uh, to go to Puro Puro and spend a lot of time catching these implings. I mean, you can't get the hunting pet from it. It's maybe maximum 1 to 1.5 mil uh, GP per hour. And uh, it's just, it's kind of boring. But I will say that what it did make me want to do is actually go PKing, like on PvP worlds or PKing in general. Just just like entangling implings just kind of remind me of like PKing. So that's probably going to be my next video PKing of some kind. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video was at least informative, if not also entertaining. But uh, anyway, I will see you next time.